Saw him play at LSU. He saw a really talented player who could get it done both inside and outside. Wow. Smilagic with the find and Pasco with the finish. That was nasty. Okogi gets tripped up. Let's go back to Nas Reed. Not a lot of money out there in terms of high value talent from a money standpoint. Boy, there's a lot of value out there from a talent standpoint. Smilagic foul to see drop. A lot of energy. They love the emotion from Jarrett. Shabazz Napier called the dunk insane. Keelan Martin called it nasty. And David Jim Ryan Saunders said, quote, I. KBD spins on Smilagic, and the 19-year-old takes some contact from Joshua. And Smilagic with the rebound. Goffman had the window to kiss it off the glass. He also had Nasri wide open. Pascal. What a, but a, what a block by Cato. It's a defensive stop in any case of the injuries, and in part because this is the Timberwolves' third game in four days. Wolves will have tomorrow off before traveling to Cleveland on Saturday for their... And you look at this game and you see five players with four more rebounds, Dave. Keelan Martin has six. Cubs got four. Gorgie has four. Culver has four. Very few times do you see players just standing, shooting wide open shots. Pascal in transition. No. Smilagic, it rolls off. Another rebound for Cubs, figuring out how to run a team. He's been, he was really a scorer in college. Yeah, at BC. Wow. And they're going to wipe it off. For more this season, the Timberwolves are 1 in 12. Just a really, I, I was talking to Bob Fitzgerald, their play by play guy, about it, and I was like, that's really not a. Not <laughs> last yes, he did. Culver and made some really good defensive plays for Minnesota. Okogi comes up with it. Reed, no. Jordan Bell, yes. And then KBD gets a hand on it. Pascal has to reset. Smilagic looking for three. Smilagic attacking Martin and finishing. Solid post move that time. Pro middle. 